In this step, we will make the app logic more complicated. Along with the card, the buttons will also hide and then show after we assign them with the corresponding events and actions. First of all, let's rename the buttons on the page. Now, in the Events tab, add one more click event to the first button. We need this button to hide itself, so let's assign its click event with the set property action and define the button 1 visible property as false. Instead, we will make the second button show visible. For this, add one more click event with the set property action. And this time, it will manage the button 2 visible property set to true. As you can see, now when the first button is clicked, three actions will process this event. The hide button, end card will disappear, and the show button will be shown instead. It's time that we define the behavior of the second button, show. We need this button to show the first button hide, so we assign its click event with the set property action with the button one visible property set to true. This button should also hide itself on click, so let's set its visible property to false. Finally, to make the show button hidden on page load by default, set its visible property to false under the properties panel. With all the actions defined, let's check how everything works on preview. 